let us look at the uh, other program and uh, in this program we are supposed to create uh, a simple interest and that we are supposed to calculate a simple interest using uh, RMI so it is simple as that so let's go ahead and let's do the uh, program I'm going to go here and uh, I'm going to say uh, new Java project and I'm going to select a Java application let me click next and let me go to the other part and here I am uh, going to say that uh, uh, the simple interest uh, and uh, I'm going to say remote REM so don't use the word remote by the by mistake because uh, you're going to end up in trouble whenever you have this word remote because remote is also a class which is being used um, by the Java itself so we have this uh, simple interest remote I'll go to this class and uh, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say new Java interface I'm going to start with an interface so right click on the remote uh, the package and say new Java interface give it a name and I'm going to say I simple interest okay so then uh, let me click on uh, finish there is one method in uh, this one and uh, what is that uh, uh, method that uh, you have is uh, to calculate simple interest in order to make it uh, accessible to the remote I'm going to say this is going to extends out of um, remote and the remote uh, is coming from java.rmi so double click on it and you have uh, the import statement for that let me write uh, one method here and that uh, method is uh, it's going to return um, the double and uh, compute interest you can say anything compute uh, interest and anything is uh, okay for you and it's going to take a few things so to the double p double t and uh, double r so this is ptr you know very well and it's going to throw it's going to throw the remote um, exception so again remote exception is uh, from uh, java.rmi so it's going to do that let me put a semicolon and uh, you need to import statement if you don't like this uh, just put uh, rmi dot star and uh, the things will work fine so it's not going to make uh, much of a difference whenever you are writing the program you can just say import rmi dot star but when you are executing the program uh, netbeans will do the needful things Okay, with that let's go ahead and let's go to the project and I'm going to start uh, the server so I'm going to start uh, the new and I'm going to start a new Java class and I'm going to say it as a, a simple interest server so you can uh, call this a simple interest server which is going to uh, serve the simple interest and uh, in order for it to make it as a remote object it has to extend so it extends out of uh, unique cast uh, unique cast remote object so that's the first thing and you need uh, a import statement for java.rmi. Uh, server dot unicast object and uh, it's going to implement uh, the i simple i simple interest the method that uh, you have just uh, used it so it's going to implement that uh, thing so the interface that you just created it's going to implement that now I'm going to go and click on this bulb that's a important thing click on this bulb and say implement all the abstract method and you have um, the method being created I need a constructor for the, my class so I'm going to say public and I'm going to say I simple interest server so that's my constructor and this constructor is going to call the super and uh, it's going to call the super however it has to throw and uh, an exception so it's going to throw remote uh, exception so that makes the constructor and then I need to calculate uh, the simple interest so let me go here and let me do the simple interest calculation so let me come back to this point okay so this is going to return so you know very well uh, what is that it is supposed to return so it is going to return you know how to calculate simple interest simple interest is p into t into r divided by 100 so that's the only thing it is doing so that's it 
you have the uh, PTR being created. Let me go and let me start the server. So let me go here and let me add uh, one other class here and I'm going to say one new class. Right click on this one and then say new Java class and I'm going to say this one as a start server. That's a class which is going to start the server. Click finish it off and this class required uh, a static void main method as told before use the control space and uh, get the help of the net means to create this static void main method double click on it net means will do the needful thing okay the reason i'm asking you to do that is if you make a mistake uh, at this point it, nothing is going to work so let me create um, the simple interest server object of that type simple interest server si uh, is equal to new uh, simple interest uh, uh, simple where is that uh, simple interest server okay and uh, when you do that NetBeans is not happy so just click on this bulb and then say add throws clause it's going to add the throws clause at this point so just double click and uh, it's going to do the needful thing okay so you have the simple interest server now you need to register this for that I need a registry so I'm going to say register so I'm going to say registry again the registry comes from java.rmi.registry so if you notice it's going to add the import statement and then the registry reg equal to locate the registry so you can say locate the registry again java.rmi.registry locate the registry and then put a dot and then say uh, create it at a particular uh, port and uh, let me say 18888 okay so this is the port where the registry I'm going to create that uh, uh, registry from that uh, registry I am going to say uh, create that uh, the bind this particular class there so double click on bind and I'm going to give a name as a simple interest you can give any name and i'm going to bind this object that is the server object there yes i so i have bound it so when you do that uh, you get an exception so click on this uh, bulb and then say throws already bound exception so that uh, it's going to add one more throws already bound exception that's not the end of it you will notice uh, that uh, uh, already bound exception is going to come over here so with this all the exception part and everything is over and uh, if you come up to this point your server is uh, uh, started so that's it your server has started let's add uh, the client part now let me go here and um, let me right click on uh, this place and then say new java class and i'm going to call this as simple interest uh, client and that's it okay I need a static void main method here also so I will use control space and uh, take the help of NetBeans which will create uh, the static void main method for me and what else uh, I require now in order for me to uh, connect to the server I need uh, the registry so I'm going to say registry and again this registry is from Java dot um, rmi.registry and you need that import statement uh, you know during when you are writing it so registry is uh, let's go and uh, let's uh, go to the locate uh, registry so locate registry and let me put dot and uh, I'm going to get the registry which is there at uh, this particular port and which is that port again I'm going to copy paste it from here so this uh, is uh, going to reduce all the problem you don't know whether it is 4 8s 5 8s or 10 8s or you don't know really that so control C it and then just paste it so you are very sure that uh, the number of 8s that you have added is proper and when you are running it if you find that uh, the port is already in use then, then change these numbers don't reduce the number increase the number 1988 or 18889 like something like that increase the number because the higher ports may not be in use okay so let's click on uh, this bulb now and then say throws um, remote exception this is required throws remote uh, exception so you got the uh, registry from the registry I need to get the object uh, now the object I'm going to get uh, is a simple interest uh, uh, object so let me say i simple interest okay so si is uh, equal to from the registry 
get the object so get this uh, object uh, so look up for uh, the name and what is the name that uh, you have given again as usual go to the server and whatever name that you have given for the server just uh, double click here control C it and then come back to the code and paste it this is a very safe way of doing it otherwise uh, if your spelling is mistake if it's in small case or if you made a spelling mistake that itself uh, will uh, make the program not work Okay. Once you have done it, you need uh, a exception again, uh, not the exception. You need to typecast it. So you need to typecast that one, and uh, definitely you need an uh, handle an exception that is uh, a not bound exception. Click here, and it's going to add that a not bound exception. So through two exceptions are there for the main method. One is the remote exception and the not bound exception, and uh, you will notice that both of them are available here. When you are writing it, uh, you notice that uh, these two are common as are already told you you can put a star here you can put a star here to reduce a um, writing part so once that is done you have um, your uh, object uh, with you and the only thing that uh, i need is a scanner to get the input so i'm going to go to the uh, java.utility.scanner and that import statement is again required so scanner and i'm going to say input is uh, equal to new uh, scanner so i get that scanner and uh, i'm going to say uh, system dot uh, in I got that uh, uh, thing then I need uh, a values for P T R okay I need these uh, values in order for me to do the calculation uh, let me uh, say one other thing uh, string answer is uh, answer is equal to Y okay they want to let's say answer is equal to not I don't want to continue so let's say do and uh, do loop here and let's say do while answer dot uh, to lower I reduce it to lower lower case and the character at uh, zeroth location if uh, this is uh, equal to y then small case y then you continue otherwise you don't continue okay let me uh, do the other usual thing yes out okay simple interest calculation interest calculation so that's simple as that and then uh, I'm going to go here let me go here yes out and uh, yes out yes out okay so one first one is principal uh, principal and then uh, I will use uh, print rather than print line because I don't want to take it to the next line so then I'm going to say P is equal to input dot and the where is you have this uh, input dot uh, next double okay so same thing I'm supposed to do it for uh, the other thing so I'm going to copy these two lines and paste them and what is the next thing uh, principal PTR time and this is time okay I'm going to use T here and the last thing that I'm going to do here is a, a rate and uh, this is going to be a rate as simple as that and then I will go here S yes, out and I'm going to say simple interest interest is okay what is that uh, I will say here is a uh, simple interest is uh, uh, what is that uh, thing is uh, go here esi dot and you have this uh, compute interest double click on it and that means we'll do the needful thing okay so compute interest is the method that I have already created here uh, this is the method that I am calling okay so that's all I need to do and then uh, one small uh, general thing these are all general things so, so I'm going to just say yes out do you want to continue so do you want to continue continue and uh, why comma no and a question mark okay again I will make it as a, this one now because uh, you are reading uh, the double here then you are reading a string so let me do the usual thing what is that uh, usual thing you need uh, input and 
next line remember this you can't forget this one because if you are reading a string after reading double or int or anything remove that uh, enter sign from the buffer then read the proper thing so then read the input dot next line so you need to do it two times this is a workaround you can't help yourself with that so that's all you need to do and if the things are working fine your program should work let's go and let's start the server so i have the start server here and i'm going to right click and i'm going to say run this one if it is working fine so your server has started so your server has started remember once the server is started you will notice that it is running okay then you go to your client and then in the client right click and run it so right click and run the client code so run it and you get uh, to see that thing so enter the principal amount so thousand rupees okay rate of interest uh, uh, time is one year and rate of interest is 10 so you get a uh, hundred rupees interest do you want to continue yes 2000 rupees okay 2900 whatever it is uh, time is uh, two years and the rate of interest is 20 you get something answer there and finally you say that do you want to continue no and uh, it uh, breaks the code however very very important thing your server is still running here so very very important thing your server is still running here you need to close that server so very 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 important thing don't forget this one okay most of you will forget that during the examination and you will make a mess of uh, rerunning the server do not run the server so remember the server is running now if i again run this server i get an error so the server is already running i right click and run the server and i am going to end up in much bigger trouble like this the reason that uh, you get it is even if you read this one you will come to know the port 188 is already used up okay so what is the meaning of it is already the previous server is taking up that now you notice that both of them are ending up in trouble because both of them are using the same port so now what I'm, you are going to do is you are going to carefully come and close one one at a time and uh, you will close this one also at a time so be a bit extremely bit uh, careful with uh, what you are doing whenever you are playing with the server kind of thing so close it assume ensure that nothing is appearing here at this place nothing is appearing and then start uh, working on it so all the best for your examination i'm going to stop the video now.